Right. Um, episode three. Uh, do you know what the key takeaway of this episode is? My God, Bonnie Lankford's got some core strength. She's over the shoulder of a, a tet trap and, and she's just like rock solid. It's absolutely unbelievable. I mean, my gosh, that woman is impressive work. Um, look, Time of the Orange is great and I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> it's just really, really good. Its flaws are obvious and there to be seen. Uh, it suffers from the traditional Pip and Jane Baker weird dialogue. I mean, that floating, bubbling brain at the end doesn't float or bubble, but there we go. Um, it's got some odd lines. Um, and uh, um, and that's uh, somewhat off-putting. The, the tech traps are terrible. Um, and it's so annoying because the thing is, what they have got right is the... Now, I can never say it. Is it Le Laertians? Anyway. But you've got two alien races here who are full of character. You know, this is not just some flipping stomp around in terms of the tap traps. You know, the fawning over the Rani could be really funny. And it could even be funny if they are, you know, bulky, quite crap costumes, but just doesn't quite land. And then, of course, you've got the, the, the different characters in the relations. I absolutely love that. This is, you know, I'm not saying it's proper good drama. We'll get to that. But this is the makings of something good. And that's, you know, despite the killer bee effect, that's rubbish. Those insects, whatever they are. And um, I, I mean, I really like, though, just the, when they walked into um, the, whatever is it, the Festival of Paradise, or whatever it's called, something of leisure. And they have that ritual of, of kissing the stone or whatever, which was not referenced in the dialogue. I mean, I don't know if that Pippa Jane wrote that in, but, you know, and the doctor does it and does it wrong or whatever. Yeah, there's a lot of running about and nonsense. And yeah, there's a load of your typical Pip and Jane techno babble. But genuinely, at the heart of this, you've got... I mean, there's, there's less impressive Rani in this because she's not doing a male impression. But Sylv's coming into his own, finding his feet, still unsure of himself because it's post-regenerative trauma and all that. You know, that's writ large and, and that's cool. Um, and he looks fragile as well, which is going to pay off, isn't it? Later, I hope, I think. Um, but genuinely, oh my, I cannot express to you how much joy there is in watching flipping Sylvester McCoy as a doctor. I just think he's got it all. I genuinely do.